Namaskar, a warm greetings from Delnet Developing Library Network and Pune Institute of Business Management, Pune. It's a profound honor and pleasure for me, myself, Dr. Sangeeta Kaul, the director of Delnet, to extend a very hearty welcome to each one of you for joining us today at the Delnet webinar session being organized by Delnet in collaboration with PIBM. Pune, one of our most esteemed member institution. At the very outset, I would like to extend a very hearty welcome to the distinguished director of PIBM, Dr. Bharat Bhushan Singh Ji. Thank you very much for sparing time and being there with us and also being a, one of our very, very esteemed member, uh, Dr. Singh. We welcome you on this platform, on an online platform. It's indeed a profound pleasure uh, to be there, uh, to have you with us here today, uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much indeed. We also would like to thank uh, welcome, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Dr. Singh. Uh, we would also like to welcome all the HODs, uh, the faculty members, uh, the researchers and scholars. And I would also like to extend a very hearty welcome uh, to Mr. Amit Mahadek, the librarian of uh, PIBM, who has been very instrumental in organizing and joining hands with Delnet in organizing today's webinar session. I extend a welcome to my own colleague from the Delnet's Pune unit, Mr. Rohidas Rathor, who is there online with us, joining us again from the city of Pune. And I extend a very special welcome to our young students of PIBM. And it's indeed a pleasure for us to have each one of you here today on this platform. As we know that the reason why we all have assembled today in this online platform today is to make you aware about an organization, Delnet, which has been working for past 32 years, a single largest library network in entire South Asia. And we are here today to make you acquainted with our resources and services, which can really can play a very pivotal role in the way that you conduct your academics research. And we are pretty sure and confident that through the deliberations that we are going to have today, you will immensely get benefited through this resource sharing library network. At the very outset, it's a profound honor and pleasure for me to request Dr. Bharat Bhushan Singh Ji, the director, the distinguished director at PIBM, to kindly give an inaugural address on this occasion. An immense pleasure uh, in having you with us this afternoon, and thank you so very much for your enormous support also to Delnet and to our activities and being one of our very distinguished members from the wonderful city of Pune. It's over to you, Dr. Singh. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, Director Delnet, this is call, uh, esteemed panelists and the students. It's indeed an honor for me uh, also to be associated and being part of this August activities today. Actually, I was very curious to know what are the progresses uh, Delnet has made for about one one last one year because I had been actively uh, engaged with uh, with this kind of. Uh, collaborations with Delnet because I truly believe that India is on the cusp of making a big leap forward and it is the collaboration and cooperation and co-creation that is going to take us uh, to the new level. Uh, when I was reading the history of Delnet, how it came into existence and today uh, it's serving to about 33 states and some of the neighboring countries, more than 8,000 plus institution at its kitty, that speaks volume about the kind of work Delnet is doing. And hats off to you and madam, please accept uh, and sincere appreciation and congratulations from me and the entire PIBM. Now, the importance of library or the network of library doesn't need any overemphasis. However, the harnessing of the resources towards realization of an individual's learning goals and professional goals are something that has to be carefully crafted because sometimes I truly believe and feel as well that when overwhelming resources are being thrown on the learners and then they, 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 they just get bogged down by the kind of of uh, uh, inputs they are having and then they are not able to actually channelize or maybe prioritize uh, how they need to be using those resources and sometimes uh, instead of benefiting they get uh, uh, badly affected by that kind of resource supply 
So therefore, yes, uh, the, the resource rich is an aspect that Delnet is providing, but having a query engineering, a kind of aspects wherein you are able to identify what resources you require and you, you use it effectively for your benefit or uh, achievement of learning goals. That is what is expected from all the learners, those who are at this platform. So my advice to all the students, about 190 plus those who are joining today, that today when you are in a 5G environment uh, with almost everything what you need is available in your smartphone, gone, gone are the days when you have an excuses to tell why you have not achieved your goals, why you have not achieved your learning goals or your academic goals. Uh, in fact, it's you and only you uh, who need to be auditing why any performance deficit exists and what are the roadmaps. Because you have the right kinds of counselors along with you, you have best teachers, what you expected, best of the best resources you have. And they are all available at a very breakneck speed. You don't have to wait for anything. You ask and they are available in the fastest way possible. So therefore now, the 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 aspects of what you are looking for the resource or whatever is available now delivery is your game so therefore i advise all my students to further do an extensive understanding and research of delnet and its resources and use it effectively so that whatever you are looking for as part of library resource you get and then utilize it for your achievements now I thank uh, the team Delnet who are really doing wonderful job by you know coordinating, associating, and then uh, making us aware of what are the resources you are hosting on your uh, platform and why we must be using it. What I also like is your your uh, discipline with which you you ensure compliances from the uh, from the higher institutions, higher education institution because. I have seen a lot of membership wherein if the membership dates expire, they even give us about 30, 40 days for renewal. But well, Delnet is very prompt. If the dates are closer, means you have to be prompt in paying so that you get uh, a renewal of that particular membership. And that's very, very important because that is where the standards are set and that is where the seriousness of objectivity is understood. So this is what I uh, something I uh, thought of uh, highlighting, and without wasting much of the time, I am looking forward to learning something and understanding more from the Delnet. So I once again thank the team uh, for organizing this webinar and giving me this opportunity to speak to all of you. So thank you so much, call madam, and thank you all Delnet team. I also appreciate my team at PIBM for coordinating and organizing this event today. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Dr. Singh, for a truly an inspiring and an enlightening address. And you have really set the tone and uh, you have very, very, uh, you know, that was a golden words of yours, like, you know, wherein you said that, yes, there's lot much of, you know, the things available. And now today's researchers and scholars have no excuse, like, you know, but yes, it is an on, also an era where we have to really make our very conscious and consistent effort, you know, to see to it that we have an access to the quality information. We should not really, you know, that reminds us of the wonderful words like, you know, John Lisbeth had said that we are drowning in information, but starved for knowledge. And that's really what is happening. You know, we have been drowning in information, lot much of information being there, but we are still starving for knowledge. And that's what, you know, wherein the libraries and libraries networks have to, you know, work collaboratively, you know, and that too, uh, definitely, you know, in tune with the, the uh, needs and requirements of our users community. Thank you very much for being there. We truly greatly, you know, admire your presence with us and also the enormous support that you have been extending, Dr. Singh. And I'm very happy to also say that, you know, it, it was very heartening to see that more than 700, uh, you know, participants from PIBM, I could see that from the numbers, you know, those who have registered, we still have at the figure of two to one. And I do pretty hope that many of them would be joining us. But it was truly heartening to see that a very proactively they came forward, you know, 
in uh, you know uh, in showing their expression that they would be wanting to be a part of this so we really look forward pune is now the you know uh, we are just uh, very shortly going to open up our own center we already have a center but also in our own office space we are in the process of getting it you know interior work done and another one month time that will be ready and we really look forward to coming in person and also holding uh, you know in person some program collaboratively at uh, the wonderful campus at PIBM uh, thank you so much dr singh truly value and greatly appreciate you know your being there with us today this afternoon so with the, the permission of the chair uh, dr singh we would like to now start the deliberations of today and well before i start off as we all know the session is all being focused on delnet to make you all aware about the resources and services i would quickly would like to start off by asking you a question which is being appearing on your screens right now and you can see this this is a poll which is being there requesting you to please come forward and giving us and uh, your opinion about it have you been aware about delnet resources and services prior to receiving intimation about today's webinar session and we would truly appreciate if you may come forward and give us a candid reply give us a very candid reply a very genuine reply that were you being aware about delnet when you had received an intimation from mr amit mahadev that yes uh, pibm is uh, going to have a collaborative webinar session on delnet we would truly appreciate that if you give us a very true picture that how uh well you were being placed in knowing delnet because that would really give us a direction that how far we have to let you know about it i could i'm again much impressed with a very proactive you know responses and I, we were able to notice it even when we had launched the webinar for the registrations with more than 700 registrations being done and as i could notice here 73 percent of you have voted and i must compliment you uh you know for being coming forward you know in a very proactive manner and giving us your feedback and let me divulge the findings of this so uh, now it uh, the figure stands of 76 percent and 77% uh, of you have voted and out of that 67% of you you will be really surprised to know yourself 67% of you have opined that they have not been aware about delnet and that figure is now uh, you know it's it's, it's debating like 66 to 67% but yes now it is 66 to 34% 66% have said they have not been knowing about Delnet. And yes, we have 34% of you have been saying that, yes, they have been, they, you have been aware about Delnet resources and services. So this gives sense and such a wonderful opportunity. Those of you who have been aware about Delnet, we do hope that today's webinar session, we will be able to fill up the pots of your learning, you know, with something new through this deliberations that we are going to undertake in a short while. And yes, indeed, it's such a wonderful occasion for us that we are able to establish a, a new connect with 66% of our attendees here. And that's, as Dr. Singh has said, you know, this is a world of networking. It is a world of connections and connections must lead to collaborations. Just having a static connection doesn't really. So it's really a wonderful opportunity for us to make 66% of you who have never heard about Delnet or who have never been knowing about Delnet to get an you know, opportunity uh, to tell you that how well can we fit into your academic and research uh, life and how well uh, Delnet can play a very vital role in the way that you are undertaking your research work. So let me just quickly, because we would like to make uh, this entire deliberations, we would like to show you more online our services, but it's very important also to know about this organization, which in today's day and time is the leading resource sharing library network in entire South Asia, which is a, it is the single largest library network in South Asia. And at a global level, we stand at number two. The largest network in the world is in OCLC, which is in USA, connecting around 16,000 libraries. And Delnet stands at number two at a global level, connecting nearly now 8,500 institutions 
It's a profound, uh, you know, pleasure for me. This is my 30th year with Delnet, and we have witnessed, you know, that how this transformation in the libraries have happened, and also seeing, you know, the growth of the organization from a Delhi-based library network with the name of Delnet and uh, Delhi Library Network to where we stand today's in uh, today's day and time. Let me share with you that we are a not-for-profit organization. It is in Registered Society and Societies Registration Act. And we are located, uh, our head office is here in Delhi, at New Delhi, in Jawala Nehru University, wherein we have got our own infrastructures. We have a very wonderful guest house facilities also being offered to our member institutions. So anyone coming down from PIBM, you're most welcome. Uh, we are located in JNU, just adjacent to the AICT, All India Council for Technical Education. And I'm also pleased to inform you that we have our offices, Dylan's own office spaces in Bangalore. Uh, we have our own office now in Pune. It has been there, but now our own office space. Uh, we also have our unit in Hyderabad, and shortly we are starting off yet another unit. We have already got our office space in Lucknow. Very happy and proud uh, to uh, you know be there on this platform and to tell you about Delnet because Maharashtra is a state which is a leading state for us. Uh, Maharashtra gives us fairly more than you know 1,200 plus institutions uh, followed closely by Tamil Nadu and also by. Um, Uttar Pradesh and uh, but yes indeed I must uh, really congratulate each one of you for being such a distinguished part of Delnet uh, family a big family of this 8500 institutions and we greatly value and appreciate the support you know from PIBM so this entire library network started way back in the year 1992 we got registered early stages we have been the organization especially our young students would be amazed to know that we have been the organization who was offered the email services in the city of Delhi. Uh, in those days and times, you know, the email, it, it wasn't available at all. And we have been promoted by National Informatics Center in the initial stages, Department of Electronics. They were the very first one who introduced email services in the entire country in India. And Delnet was the organization who was offering that service here in the city of Delhi to most prestigious institutions you talk about. We have been doing that. We have also been doing the handholding with the libraries and helping them out and just simply realizing their dream of seeing their catalogs onto a computer. Because in those days and times, there were no library automation softwares. We are taking you back to 1994, 95, our young students, you know, you, you, it, 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 it's really difficult, you know, to also comprehend the kind of a situation we were into the very infancy stages of ICT at that point of time. And then came the period when our services became global. Uh, overnight, you know, our services became global as we got an, you know, static IP address. We, you know, we turned all our services, you know, as in web opaque. And anyone and any any person from anywhere, any institution from any nook and part of the world, they were able to access. And that's how the name of the organization got changed from Delnet, Delhi Library Network, Delnet, to Delnet Developing Library Network. And as you could notice, it was a very conscious effort in of ours to make it as developing because developing you are you you are into you know there's not much of enthusiasm there is not much of opportunities challenges what definitely comes you know with opportunities but yes we need to focus more on opportunities and that's the big inspiring story of telnet we started off in a small little room size of not more than 10 by 10 room size at india international center wherein our founder dr hk call who was a Chief Librarian for nearly 42 years, uh, served there a great visionary with an unparalleled vision of seeing the invisible and and uh, the man behind this entire mission and vision of making Delhi where we stand today. And uh, our major work, you know, the main uh, mission of this network, and we say network, net-like structure which works as a network, and our main work remains, the, ma the major missionary zeal with which we are working is, is to undertake resource sharing, is to promote resource sharing, is to ensure that each one of us becomes a great contributors in promoting that level of resource sharing, because we strongly advocate the fact that sharing is caring, 
if you share, you know, whether it's sharing your resources, you share, you know, your uh, concerns, you share your expertise, that clearly indicates that we do care, you know, and that's the need of the art. That's what we all have to be together as also being indicated by our distinguished Dr. saying that, yes, we, we have to be together. We have to be the co-creators. No one in today's day and time can create anything of their own. We have to be the co-creators. We have to be very cooperatively be together and then working for a mission, for a purpose. And there in stands Delnet, you know, which has in today's day and time, 32 years of our, we are inching towards completion of our 32 years now. And yes, having that relentless uh, and tireless efforts, you know, that we are making it to ensure that we create that very vibrant, you know, library network community and everyone is just helping each other. Let me just quickly mention it to you. This is how we are being scattered, you know, across the country. And you can see this, that uh, Maharashtra remains as a leading state for us and closely being followed by Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh. But we see length and breadth of the country. We have more than 600 plus universities being there right from Kashmir, if you think about Kashmir University to Central University of Kashmir. We take you to the southern part of the country, Tamil Nadu, as we, I indicated, you know, we have more than 1,000 members even there. We take you to the western side, whether it's Maharaja Sayaji Rao University. We take you to the eastern side of the country, you know, we have members. Talking about your own uh, subject, uh, specialized area of uh, management, we have the all the leading management institutions of the country, they are being there. Whether we talk about the leading IMM Ahmedabad or leading IMM Bangalore or all IMMs, IMM Bodh Gaya, IMM Jammu, IMM Shillong, uh, even, you know, we have the private, uh, you know, private uh, management institutions, they are all being a part of the network and greatly utilizing, greatly utilizing. It's every day you have a transaction goes on, whether it's for a book on interlibrary loan, whether it's for a journal article, as, as we are all aware, they may have a huge, you know, uh, resource base. They may have the huge, you know, fundings which are being there with them. But that, yes, indeed, you know, they do, do rely on a large, uh, you know, uh, realization means dependency is always there on the resources which are being there with other institutions. And then it remains instrumental in making it possible for them. We have been focusing closely on the five C's, and that's what has made us so very distinct, Telnet, uh, because in the early 1990s, there have been a mushrooming of a number of networks. Even in a city like Pune, there was a network with the name of Pune Net, which was there in the Pune University campus. We had a network like Bonet, Bombay Library Network, uh, High Life Net, Hyderabad Library Network, uh, Malibnet, Madras Library Network, uh, we have Edinet, Ahmedabad Library Network, Calipnet, Calcutta Library Network, and then yes, indeed, we had Delnet also as in those times as Delhi Library Network. What made us successful, what made us as a truly a model for everyone as a success story, because we have always kept ourselves closely focused all the time, you know, just focused, you know, no, nothing else to see besides these five factors that you can see. The content, content remains the king. Content networking, what is being lying, you know, across. And let me just share with you, because all of you from academics, the world of academics and research, that this is a worldwide, you know, research has shown that, that only 1% of the content, you know, which is being published, is available in a digital form. Ninth, and that to the accessibility to that content, only 1% of that is available as a digital in the developing countries. And when we think about the developed countries, not more than 10% of that content is available in digital. You can, why I'm telling you is also to tell you that it's not that what all that you have to refer and what you need to refer or what you want to refer will always be in digital, no. We all are aware there are copyright concerns, there are IPR concerns, and the content is even not being born digitally. You need to still look out, you know, that where physically someone would have that in some nook and part of the world. And that's what Delnet does, the content networking. We give you an access to around four crore bibliographic records of books being available physically in libraries. Not even 1% of them would be available as the ebooks. No, 
they are not being. You need to refer that, you know, for your work. You need to have the physical copy, and we do undertake it. And this is a very unique service across the country. No one else does the service what we are offering, you know, and providing it. It's a really a helping. It's a great boon for our researchers and scholars. The user centricness. The organization like ours, only one thing we see all the time is our user community. Whether we keep our eyes open or closed, only one thing we see all the time is our user. And I think, you know, you are the best of the experts who knows that how really, you know, to humanize. Whatever we are doing, it's humanizing the technology. You may have the technologies, but yes, we need to humanize it. And it's for the welfare of the humanity. It is to serve the humanity. And that's what our focus areas always remain, our users. What you are are looking for is always something which holds a great uh, significance for each one of us and that's for, for what you know we are working on cost uh, as all of us are knowing at Dell it is an organization which really remains committed for ensuring that we are able to promote you know the affordability accessibility and equitability to information it's very very important this is also being the united nations sustainable development goals and affordability is a very very important thing and through resource sharing we are really able to do the you know it, it becomes more equitable because you need not to buy the resource you can just can share it as and when you require it and that's the real essence of a library network even as nominal membership fee that we charge an institution, whether it's a leading medical hospital or it's a leading IMM or a university, a small meager amount, 13,570, including GST for past 22 years, organization like Delnet, we have not increased that fees. Reason remains, we remain more dedicated and devoted for the free flow of information. Let the information flows. The information cannot, you know, and should not be made stagnant. No, it has to flow. And this information sharing has to happen, you know, in the society. And library should always remain as the most vibrant places. And the professionals have to contribute. Each one of us has to contribute in a very, very, you know, productive manner. The connectivity, yes, indeed, our services 24 by seven they are being accessible you can just can access as and when you are wanting it whether it's from the premises of pibm it's an ip based access it's a login and password you can also can access uh, these resources while you are being at home you can be anywhere so it's an anytime anywhere accessibility of you know to delnet that you can undertake when uh, and you all are the bona fide members of delnet you can very well can access these resources through this platform would like to request mr ahmed to ensure uh, the librarian to ensure that each one of you have gotten access to delnet and the credentials can definitely can be shared you know to the with the bona fide users the communication holds a key and that's what you know we are being uh, into to communicate with our users community. You can, you're most welcome to communicate with Delnet through any of the medium that you want and we remain committed for it. This is to tell you quickly about, because we would like to now show you online and to show that how you can make the best use of these resources. 3.8 crore, it has in fact moved more. We are also going to show, we do have the records even of PIBM now onto our network and I appreciate the efforts of Mr. Amit Mahadev in contributing that. And the entire world is now able to see that what the, your library has also got it. I'm quickly moving on because we do have thesis and dissertations. This interlibrary loan and document supply, as I indicated earlier, it's a very popular service of ours. I have a wonderful colleague of mine, very energetic young, professional colleague who is being there almost for 12, 13 years now with Delnet, uh, Mr. Rohidas Rathor, who is taking care of the head of our Pune unit, and, and the libraries in, in entire Maharashtra greatly using you know, our services besides being in other parts of the country. Let me tell you this interlibrary loan here, you can see an example. There is a book over here. I typically picked up this analytical analytics in operations and supply chain management. You can see it's a bulky book. It's an handbook which is being there. And you can see this, that we have borrowed this book from one of our member institution and we are sending across this book to an institution in Tamil Nadu. The book will physically, we'll be sending it across on interlibrary loan through courier or speed post. The book will be sent for one month period. The library, this book must be costing nothing less than 50, 60,000 rupees. It's in handbook. It's a quite a bulky reference title looks to be. You need not to purchase that. So the book will be sent. They are 
I'm going to see it, refer to it, the respective faculty or a student or researcher. And then for after one month, they are going to return back the book to Delnet. And you will uh, really would like to know that what Delnet will be charging. So to the, you know, it's entirely the service meant for a member institutions and we charge the very nominal uh, courier charges. Whatsoever we are spending on that, we just, you know, charge the same. And, uh, and just simply the courier postal charges you need to incur uh, pay to Delnet, and then you return back the book to us. And this is how this entire thing works. It's a very popular service. So also, let me just share with you, we do have document delivery services, wherein you can get the journal articles. We have a huge, large access to management e-journals. We are shortly going to show it to you. But for example, you're looking for something that you are not able to lay hands on. Straight away, you can send an email across directly to us. Just mark the copy of the email to Mr. Amit Mahadev, and he will be knowing about it that, yes, you have requested to delve in for a journal article. That's a very popular service. All the leading IMMs of the country, whether it's an IMM Bangalore or IMM Ahmedabad or other IMMs, they heavily rely on Delnet, this document delivery, and as well as the interlibrary loan, wherein that we are transacting the books on loan and even sending these journal articles. I would just quickly now moving on because would like to show you online that how we do also offer a support to our member libraries, Dell Plus software, and, uh, and we also have, let me share with you, we do have a consortium for e-journals and also for plagiarism detection software, we do offer, you know, which is being called as a drill bit. And th this is being used uh, against subscription. You can have an annual subscription, quite a subsidized one that is being offered. I'm quickly moving on and may like to now uh, take you, uh, this is our membership statistics where we are, we do have members in Nepal, Sri Lanka and Bhutan. Also in Kazakhstan, we do have a library, National Library of Kazakhstan. It's an entirely an academic library network. We do have research libraries, including DRDO labs, you know, uh, CSI labs onto our network. We have the government libraries onto the network. And then this is how we have been able to grow over the years. Let me just quickly now, uh, we have the agendas, you know, which are being there, but I would just quickly move because would like to show you now online. We have been awarded with IAP award for excellence in public services, which was been given uh, by our vice president. Uh, this is our web page. I'm just going to now take you along and would like to show you. And just before I show you online, just let me just quickly show you that this is how these parcels that you are um, seeing it. This is how the books are being sent on interlibrary loan and they are being or it, it, it does come back. And let me just show you before I take you, let me just uh, because we would like to show you online rather than showing it through this. We would like to take you online and show it to you that how uh, I would just like to show you. Uh, and these are the golden words from no one else other than the most esteemed honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, and this is a message being given uh, by His Excellency for one of our conference. We just had it at our annual conference in uh, in uh, November 2023, which we had it at uh, Goa University. And just to quote him, uh, and to quote, Delnet has been doing laudable work in expanding the network of libraries and sharing knowledge for over three decades. Such efforts have strengthened the collective resolve to build an inclusive knowledge society and meet the growing demands on our information landscape to unquote. And that we remain committed, you know, to ensure that we are building up the inclusive knowledge societies and helping the user committee and taking everyone along. Let me now just take you to our website and to show you that how you can access the Delnet resources and services. So our website, please kindly note, delnet.in. And requesting uh, Mr. Amit Mahadev to ensure that the Delnet link is also available on your own library page so that any user can directly can come, you know, through the library page directly to Delnet. We do have an IP-based access. We also have the login and password-based access, and you can very well can do. So this is the link that you need to click on to. So the website address is delnet.in. And this is the link, new discovery portal login. Click onto it. And once you do that, system would prompt you to give the login and password. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using your own login and password and uh, 
requesting. Uh, please do excuse me because I won't be able to, uh, you know, tell you about the login password. The login you can see it, but password uh, because I would be requesting Mr. Maha Amit Mahadev to kindly let each one of you know uh, to know about it. But since it's also an IP-based access, you will be able to also access it on an IP. So you need not to. If you click on to Delnet new discovery portal on our website automatically the site will get open reason is because it's an ip enabled also at the same time so this is our landing page you can see here this is a single window searching and it says this is a union catalog so as i told you we have got around four crore bibliographic records of books journals you know which are being available in our member institutions you can make a search of this and this remains as one of our major uh, tool for interlibrary loan for interlibrary loan, because users need to know what is available and where it is available. So you can make a search and can see, and even your own library resources also, you'll be able to see that. I'll just show it to you. This is a knowledge gainer portal, around 1.58 crore full text, ebooks, e journals, and e articles you can access using this knowledge gainer portal on any of the subjects that you are wanting. A vision portal, nearly 40,000 video lectures on varied topics. We're just going to show you. Our libraries are coming forward. Institutions are coming forward. And this is also to request our director, uh, Dr. Singh, to ensure, you know, and to help us out in also having the video lectures of our faculty members of PIBM. And students can even can search, you know, your own lectures through this platform of Telnet. Conquer portal, this is about, our, you know, the online courses being done. And then we have an e-journal full text. And in management, you'll be able to see a huge, large number of e-journals in management which are being available this opens this list of journals even they are being there and then you can just can access them let me quickly show you an example and uh, then we will be we may like to you know uh let's say for example on business management you are looking for you are just wanting uh to see to it that what are the books which are being you can write truncated and uh you can say on the title you are looking for and then you say select books for loan. So you are wanting the books which are being available on business management. And let's see what are those titles which are being there on business management. And you can now be able to see these titles, the titles which are being uh, across the libraries. One lakh uh, 4,550 such books are being there. You can sort out these books by date descending. So date descending is that the latest books are bound to come first and you will be able to see that what are those titles, you know, and you can always can, uh, you know, you can always can get the books on loan and you can uh, get the titles. So these are the books, you know, which are being there. We'll just quickly would move on and see. Yeah. You will be able to access these titles and then uh, this to, this does tell you that what are the books which are being available and where they are being available. So it tells you the location code that where physically the uh, the libraries, you know, which are having that particular resource. Just allow me a minute. And you would be able to get these books on interlibrary loan. You can just need to uh, just allow me. I'll just, just make a search here again. Let's see the title you're looking for, Books on Loan on Business Management. And you can see over here, the titles which are being coming in, it also tells you the location. Here and also you can see the states which wherein the particular book is being available. You can see here, uh, any particular type, you know, location where in not, uh, two small case letter code is not being available, that means this particular library is in Delhi. You can see MH for Maharashtra, GJ for Gujarat, PB for Punjab. You can just can do the date descending. Just give me a minute, I believe. Yeah, just for a second. So, herein you are able to see the titles which are being there. 
And if, for example, I'll just show you an example that if you are wanting to get a particular book on interlibrary loan, you just need to click on to that particular title and the entire details of the book emerges. And then here in comes requesting the book on interlibrary loan, the physical copy of the book you want to get it on loan. And there is a particular ILL password. This password is not known to the users, but it is known only to the librarian. So if you're wanting to get this book on loan, you just simply have to copy this, paste in the mail, send the mail to Mr. Ahmed saying that you are wanting to get this book on loan from Delnet. And what Mr. Ahmed is going to do is he will just provide you know, the password to this. He will register this particular request with Delnet. We will arrange this book and send it to you on interlibrary loan. We also have a feature here wherein you can get you know, uh, the books. If they are also being available on Google, you are going to get the link of Google preview. So if any of the titles, if it's also there on Google, you are going to get a Google preview link. You can directly can go to that respective site and you will be able to search. So you can be in a position to do. Let me just see uh, and show you that how you can also can search the PIBM records, your own records of the library, how you can even can search. Though the number is not really that big, but I hope so that in the days to come, we will be able to get that. So you can just can click on and then let's say management and select the books. Let's say, for example, you know, we are just trying to uh, see. No, it's no. Just allow me a minute. I believe yeah. we, we, we do have a few of the records which are being uh, contributed by PIBM and you can very well can even can access those records also. We'll just try to show you otherwise by making uh, the location code is you know, uh, the location code is MHPIBM. I'll just show it to you. The location is MHPIBM and you will be able to see the titles which are being there. I believe uh, there is some issue which is being there, PIBM, yeah? It is not showing right now you know it seems to be let me just come back again on this we do have around 3000 reports which have been contributed but in fact it should have shown over here of uh, but it's not showing uh, we'll, we'll just look into that let me just quickly now take you to this knowledge gainer portal and knowledge gainer portal is a portal which gives you an access to around 1.6 crore full text ebooks e journals and e articles let me show you an example Let's say, for example, you are looking for something on leadership. You can just can type in the word leadership, just make a search for this, and system tells you that there are 10,420 hits wherein the word leadership is appearing. On the right-hand side, you will be able to see it shows 10,132 articles, 253 ebooks, 27 institutional repositories, and then there are eight journals. Let's say you want to go for the ebooks. What are these 253 ebooks which are being there? And you will be able to see that these are all the ebooks which are being available. These are all the ebooks which you can even can download. Let's say, for example, digital leadership, a new leadership style for the 21st century. So you can just can click on to it. And once you click on to it, so the entire ebook will be there with you. You can just can see this entire 174 page book, 174 page long book is there in front of you. The entire book is in front of you. And you can just can download this using this down arrow key. Using this down arrow key, you can just can download this book. And if you just open this book now, it is under the C drive. So under the C drive now, you have been able to download this book and you can very well can use it. Similarly, for example, you want to see the articles. These are all the books which are being there. Also, you want to see the articles. You can just click on the articles. So only the articles are going to get displayed. You can see, okay, fine, you are wanting to see this leadership, leadership paradigms and leadership training in 2010 and beyond. And you can see this, the entire article is now in front of you. And again, you can just scan 
use this down arrow key and then you can save this entire article and if you see this this is under your c drive now the entire article is being there so this is a great resource for users you are looking for anything on any of the subject you are wanting it you can just can make the searches and you can use it you can download the entire ebooks on any of the subject that you are wanting you know i have just shown it to you you can just can make a search of anything that you are wanting of your subject area and you can do let's say for example on consumer behavior anything you know this is just to show you uh, uh, you can just can make the searches on uh, whatsoever you are wanting so you can see here 1751 such titles are being there and you can just can make the searches that uh, you know uh, on as per your need and requirement you can just can uh, go for and can select the particular references and you can really can work on it let me now take you to the vision portal uh, Vision Portal is a portal which contains around 40,000 video lectures being contributed by our members and others. And you can see here, we have, this is our front end which is being there. And even here we have the subject of management. Even besides that, and uh, this is what we would like to request that please do come forward in contributing your own uh, records also. You can see here, contribute video lectures bulk upload. So there is an Excel file. I may like to request uh, our faculty members who are there today on this platform to come forward and contributing your video lectures to Delvet. And what will happen eventually is with this institution name, you know, then the name of Pune Institute of Business Development, one would be able to see because one can just can go to a particular, let's say, for example, Modern College of Arts, Science, Commerce, you know, from Pune, our member institution, they have contributed, they are regularly contributing, you know, their records to Delnet. So one can just can access. So you can see here 576 video lectures which are being contributed by them. And you can see all of them, you know, are from that particular institution itself. They are all being contributed by Modern College of Arts, Commerce. And these are all being recorded by, you know, their. Uh, faculty members, so you can see here, assistant professor, BBA, and one can see this, watch this video. So this is just to show you that how the with the colleges, you know, they are coming forward and then they are making the best use of it. Let me just show you in management, if you click on in management, See here, 7,700 and uh, sorry, uh, 1,502 uh, video lectures are being available. Let's say this four P's in marketing. Our students may like to listen to this four P's in marketing. What are these? You all are the you know uh, the management uh, students. So and you can see here. It's just two. So you can you can see here so blending of uh, you know the learning techniques and so this is how even you know the PIBM can come forward and you can contribute your records and it can be there. Let me now uh, take you to the e-journal section and I would like to take you to management. We do have these e-journals in various disciplines. Let me just take you to the management e-journals and here and you can see here we have. 240 e-journals which are being available in management the scopus listed e-journals they are being within bracket you can see that they are the scopus listed journals you want to see them you can always can you know have a look at selectively at these particular journals let me just take you to one of the scopus listed journal european research and management and business economics 2024 volume 30 it's a scopus listed a science direct journal you know and you can just can see the issues which are being there and you can just can go to any one of these issues let's say impact of industry four and circular economy on lean culture and leadership assisting digital green lean as a new concept and this is impact of industry 4.0 you can just can click on to the pdf and once you do that you can see here the entire pdf copy of the article is in front of you this is a 12 page long article entire article is in front of you again with this down arrow key you can just can download and you can make a use of it so you can you have just downloaded 
downloaded this article. The article is now with you and you can just can use it as and when you require it. So you can see here it is under the C drive now. The article has come. If you are using any of the tools, research tools like Mendeley, you can definitely can just can import it and can use it, you know, uh, but you can just can go to any one of these, you know, journals, 240 journals, which are being there and you can make a good use of it. Let me now, uh, this is in short to tell you, and then we do have uh, the language learning portal. We have the online courses portal, uh, which again, for the young students, you know, you want to get enrolled and see what are the various courses being there. So you can just can make a search for any one of them. And these are also in uh, by subjects. Also, they are being there. You can see over here the various subjects which are being, and you can just can, and these are the courses being there, you know, uh, offered across. And you can see here, for example, in management, or you may have some of your other interests which are being there, and you can just can click on and see. There are 836 such results hits which are being there, and a business approach to a sustainable landscape, scientific approach to innovation management, and you can see it's a free course, you know, which is being there, and you say enroll, and then it's going to take you to the site and then it will tell you that how you can make other use of it. So this is uh, uh, to tell in brief about it, academics and business writing and other things that you can make a use of it. Uh, we do have uh, ebooks, the autobiographies with biographies. You can click on and can see that. Uh, we do have the uh, thesis and dissertations databases, which you can even can have a look at it. And then we do have here, you can see here, know, know your ILL book status, the YouTube channel. We have a user statistics. We also have a YouTube channel where we do keep on, you know, whatever programs that we have, we always, and also a good amount of them on various topics you'll be able to see, not just simply on libraries, we do on various. We had a just uh, you know, a few uh, weeks ago, we had a wonderful talk on the art of leadership, uh, which was by the registrar of Navrashna University in, uh, in Vadodara. And yes, this entire video lecture is being available, perhaps that would be, you know, just to show you, and you can always can see, yeah? So this is uh, our uh, art of leadership by Dr. Sandeep Wasan, and you can always can, you know, have a look at it. Know your ILL book status, if you have requested a book to Dell it, so entire that status of that book, you know, that you would be able to see it across uh, through this, uh, our um, ILL book status, you know, the system we got not found because as of now, there is not any utilization and that's the reason. Let me also share with you that the books, you know, it's not only in, uh, in uh, English, but in any of the languages, you know, let me just try, let me write Marathi, word in marathi i just I, i'm just doing it if you have a keyboard you can always can function and can you can always can write that i'll just try to see and to show you that how this works and if i just do paste and you can see here right now even in the drop down you know you are able to see uh, the hindi and the word the marathi appearing and you say yes okay all fields that you are wanting the word and then you say okay perhaps books for loan and then you are able to get the hit so 27945 you take the cursor from mh you know that it's maharashtra dr d y patel arts science commerce uh, college in pune has got you can just can move down and we'll be able to see and see here majority of our institutions coming from Maharashtra who has got the book and you can you can be able to see. So in any of the languages, if the actual inputting has been done in that particular script, you will definitely be able to discover that resource also. So it's just wanting to tell you that it's not only in English, but in any of the languages, uh, the content which is being there, you know, you will be able to discover that entire content uh, uh, through this. So this is in, uh, in nutshell to just tell you about it. You can, you know, you are the best one to really explore that to the fullest. And, uh, and let me uh, share with you once again, our email IDs and uh, let me just write it, the email ID and it will be a pleasure for us that you have, this is thanks at Dell and uh, You can always can write and our website address stands as www.dellnet.in. So you can always can write to us if you have 
uh, any request, you know, uh, for anything, you can always can browse, can see these catalogs and requesting uh, uh, Mr. Amit once again to ensure that all the bona fide users at PIB, whether they are our ST faculty members or their researchers or their our their students, you know, all of them, they should have an access to the services. And as long as you are in the campus, you will be able to access them through uh, the IP base or otherwise through login and password also you would be able to do that. So I believe it's a time, you know, for me now because we would like to keep some time for questions also. Well, before I make the floor open for questions, let me ask you quickly a question and I'm you know, it's it's being displayed now onto your screens. Do you feel that me, you may like to use Dell Ed resources and services for your academics, research, training, for any of the things? Do you think that you may like to come forward in uh, making the use of it? Please do kindly come forward and give us a reply. I can see 22% of you have voted requesting you. Please do kindly. Uh, come forward and uh, uh, give us your very, very candid uh, feedback. And we will be really happy, you know, uh, to get your inputs about it. I could notice that we have 38% of 39% of you have voted as of now. And thank you very much for your trust and faith. You know, I could see that 98% uh, of you have got the option that yes, you may like to give us a trial and you may like to make the use of these resources and services. As in, it's really heartening to see, we have around 330 attendees who are being there on this platform right now with us. And it has been a pleasure you know, to tell you and to show you that what are all our resources and services. And we really look forward to having a better utilization of our resources. We do have our colleague, Mr. Rohidas Rathor. Uh, and uh, Rohidas, you are being there. Uh, just kindly raise your hand and I can give you in control and requesting you if you may like to also say something. Uh, he is in Pune itself and at any point of time, if you want him to visit the college uh, at PIBM, he will be more than happy, you know, to do that. So we will be really delighted, you know, to see, uh, yes, uh, and uh, so Rohinas, uh, requesting you, I have unmuted you. I have unmuted you and requesting you yes uh, Rohitas requesting Hello? you yes 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 ma'am yes ma'am yeah yes ma'am good afternoon ma'am good afternoon yes. all of you namaskar thank you ma'am thank you very much dr sankita kaur madam ji to providing opportunity to present the dell net resources services atta paryanta je services madam ni sangitleli te apan anywhere any places any devices varti kute hi access karu shakto as per your requirement for teaching purpose research purpose project purpose karita je kai literature aplyala lagat astil te apan around the campus madhe through ip based access ni services access karu shakto any department any classroom madhe uh, save the time of the reader Malun upon the services access karu shakta hi jk madam ni sangit le services big big hai portal sign just like madam ni sangit le knowledge gainer portal vision portal language learning portal newsletter hai manuscript and rare collection hai jk aapne la committee purpose kari ta lagta te hi access karu shakta hai aapne just like manta hai ke watch and sign ke cha jo bhandar hai te bhandar del net ni tum cha parent and le lo आपण मन सोपत सर्व्हिसेस ऍक्सेस करू शकतो शेअर करू शकतो आणि जे काही टीचिंग पर्पज आहे या रिसर्च पर्पज जे फायनल इयरचे स्टुडंट आहे त्यांना एक प्रोजेक्ट असतो त्या प्रोजेक्ट करिता ही लिटरेचर जसे की जर्नल्स आर्टिकल ऑर्थेसिक डिजर्टेशन पण आपण ऍक्सेस करू शकतो आणि याला काही लिमिटेशन नाही मोर देन थाउजंड अँड थाउजंड युजर्स पण ऍक्सेस करू शकतात आणि असं म्हणता पण येईल राईट इन्फॉर्मेशन टू दी राईट रिटर्ड ऍट द राईट टाइम म्हणजे योग्य वाचकांना योग्य वेळी योग्य माहिती घेण्याचं काम मागील बत्तीस वर्षापासून डेलनेट करत आहे आणि डेलनेट सोबत अशा बऱ्याच राष्ट्रीय आंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तरावरचे जे इन्स्टिट्यूशन आहेत कॉलेजेस आहेत त्यांना पण आपण ही सर्व्हिसेस प्रोव्हाइड करतोय अ पार्ट ऑफ डेलनेट अ पार्ट ऑफ फॅमिली जे काही तुमची रिक्वेस्ट आहे यू कॅन राईट अस दी ईमेल ऑर यू कॅन डायरेक्टली कॉन्टॅक्ट टू अस मॅडमला तुम्ही कधीही ईमेल पाठवा तुम्हाला विदिन अ टेन मिनिटमध्ये डेलनेट हेड ऑफिस कडनं या कोऑर्डिनेशन युनिट कडनं रिप्लाय येतील आणि आशा आहे कि या आजचे जे काही सेशन आहे याचं तुम्हाला यूज होतील आणि इन फ्युचरमध्ये जे काही तुमचे रिक्वायरमेंट आहे ते डेलनेट थ्रू मला या डेलनेट व्यतिरिक्त काही रिक्वेस्ट असतील तर तुम्ही डेलनेट थ्रू कॉन्टॅक्ट करू शकता थँक्यू मॅम थँक्यू
very much. Thank you, Rida. Thank you very much. I have started. Uh, I need to now learn um, uh, Marathi. I can very well can understand now Marathi very well. And that's the magic of each one of you, our colleagues from Maharashtra who are really making it uh, you know, it's, it's such a wonderful uh, uh, work, you know, of being network. It's not only the networking of libraries we are engaged with, it's uh, bringing everyone, the humanity together. And that's the wonderful human networking which happens, you know, out of this is something remarkable. So it has been a truly a pleasure. I would like to request Mr. Amit Mahadev before I make the floor open. Uh, Mr. Amit, if you may like to say something, uh, this is requesting Mr. Amit Mahadev. Uh, Amit, uh, I believe, yeah, there has been, uh, because, and uh, then we would make the floor open for questions. Uh, this is requesting you, um, yes, Mr. Amit Mahadev, young yeah, Amit, you may like to say something on this occasion. Uh, yourself. Amit, uh, yourself, Amit. Please unmute yourself. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for local management. And especially thanks to uh, all the faculty members from our PIBM group. I certainly uh, thank you for organizing this session in this short term. And short message here, then all these arrangements for the webinar. I'm very grateful to you. And it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So we, are, we are truly we are appreciative of your work. Okay. Uh, in my next month, also, we are trying to do in person session, offline session in a campus. So, regarding that, I will give you the update soon as soon as possible. Sure. We would be happy to depute Rohitas Rathor and we are, as we said, you know, we are also opening up our, this uh, unit has been working, but we have got our own office space now uh, in, um, uh, you know, just nearby uh, in Pune, in the main heart of the city on Knott Road and uh, at um, uh, Brahma's uh, Bullwood. We have got a very nice, good uh, office space. So we are doing the interiors as a new brand uh, place and uh, and we hope to start off our operations from there by mid of april so we'll be very happy to have an in-person session also at pibm it would be a pleasure and whenever i'm coming also next to pune from delhi uh, it would be a pleasure to come down and to meet dr singh and each one of you would be a pleasure and thank you very much indeed truly appreciated your efforts in having each one of us here today on this platform uh, thank you very much amit to you and also the entire uh, wonderful uh, dedicated library team and many of the colleagues who have worked for today's webinar session thank you very much thank you now we would like to make the floor open for questions requesting uh, uh, all our uh, uh, colleagues who have been here and our young students who have been here on this platform, please kindly raise your digital hand if you want to ask any questions. Uh, requesting you, please raise your digital hand if you want to ask any questions. We will be really happy, you know, to, uh, we will be really happy to uh, to get connected with you, I could see that I'm just picking up, you know, uh, one by one, Sarathi Paul. Sarathi Paul, I have unmuted you, requesting you to unmute yourself and introduce yourself before you ask a question. This is for you, Sarathi Paul. Could you please unmute yourself? Sarathi Paul, I have unmuted you from here. Could you please unmute yourself? I believe Sarth is not able to do. Let me go to Kashish Sumani. Kashish Sumani. Kashish, could you please unmute yourself? Kashish Sumani. Kashish, could you please unmute yourself? Kashish is on the, through the web you are doing, Kashish. You may have to have. Oh, this is for Sunila Banerjee. Sunila, I'm just trying our best if we can get connected because your interface again is a different one that you have used to get connected. Sunila Banerjee, Sunila has raised her digital hand. Sunila, could you please uh, unmute yourself? No, yes, yes, you, you got connected. Uh, this is again trying to get connected with you, Sunila. Uh, could you please uh, 
unmute yourself. This is for Sunila Banerjee. Sunila, last attempt of mine to see if we can get connected. You you did get connect for a while and then it again got unmuted. Uh, Extremely sorry, Sunila. If you can just can put uh, your message on the chat box, we'll be delighted, you know, to hear your inputs. This is for Sneha Chakravarti. Uh, this is for you, uh, Sneha Chakravarti. Could you please uh, unmute yourself? You just simply have to yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, Sneha, would Hello? you like to say something? Yeah, hi, yeah. Good afternoon, Sneha. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Would you like to say something? Hello? Hello, yes, we are able to hear you. Sneha, we are able to hear you. Would you like to say something? I believe Sneha is having an issue with the network. This is what happens to the technology when you need it the most. You know, it it, it it's not there to help you out. Hello? Just, yes, Sneha, yeah, please. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you very well. Hello? Yes. Hello? We can. We are able to hear you. We are Hello. Able to hear you. Hello. I guess there is some network issue. Hello. No, we, we are able I to hear, you hear well. anything. But we are able to hear you well, Sneha. Uh, we are able to hear you well. I'm extremely sorry, Sneha. Yeah, because I think there was a connection issue at your side. We are able to hear you well. But anyhow, I think you are, you are suddenly going to miss out uh, hearing from you. We have been able to hear you, but you were not able to hear us. And uh, you can just can send your message on the chat box and we'll be really happy. If anyone else may like to say something or may ask or may like to give their inputs for anything, we are uh, just making the floor open quickly for any of the feedback that you want to give or you want to ask us anything. We will really be happy to get connected with you. And just I'm uh, going through the link to see if there are any questions being there. If someone wants to ask anything more, we will be very happy. No, I'm not able to see. No, there doesn't look to be. We just request you, please do kindly send us across. We are just sending it our email IDs there you can write to us at any point of time and this you can see it in your chat box also our pune office email id also letting you know which is delnet pune at delnet.in delnet.in as our website and the email address is sans at delnet.in that's of me you know at delhi and delnet pune delnet.in that's for our pune office so we have sent it across to the entire to each one of you and you may like to you know write to us and uh, requesting yet again, Mr. Ahmed, to ensure that each uh, one of our faculty members and students and everyone receives, uh, you know, the login password. And maybe perhaps in person also we can have some program some point of time, maybe next month, as you said. And uh, it has been a pleasure interacting with each one of you. And I would like to take uh, this opportunity to once again thank uh, uh, Dr. Bharat Bhushan uh, Singh who has been very kind and gracious in uh, being there with us this afternoon and sparing some of his time. Uh, and he could, I, I was able to read like, you know, he had another meeting and because of that, he had to you know, rush for that. So we remain truly grateful to him and for his uh, enlightened words of wisdom, you know, that he shared on this platform today and truly appreciative. I think each one of us would like to join me in congratulating the Mr. Amit Mahadev and his entire wonderful dedicated uh, library team and other colleagues who have been instrumental, uh, you know, in having this program today and for all their dedicated, devoted efforts that they have made in ensuring uh, that we have uh, this gelnet orientations uh, today. I uh, would like to thank each one of you for uh, you know being there and uh, and we have made the new picnics uh, in uh, coming to know each other about the organizations that we serve. And we do pretty hope that you would give us a chance, you know, to uh, be of uh, any help to you. It would be a pleasure for us. Uh, 
uh, to offer our resources and services. Before we continue, we'd just like to quickly tell you that at sharp at five o'clock, you are going to receive the certificate of participation being given by Delnet and Pune Institute of Business Management. And once you open that, do remember that they will be given with a great sense of appreciation for each one of you in being there with us this afternoon. So with this, we are towards the closure of the session. I would also like to thank my own colleague, Mr. Rohidas Rathar, uh, being there at Pune uh, and also joining us this afternoon. And uh, thank you very much. Indeed, a, a lovely pleasure and honor in having uh, and interacting with each one of you. And we really look forward to having the most, uh, you know, uh, the best utilization now to happen at PIBM. And we do hope that uh, you have found the session of some good, immense use for your work and you would be now flooding, you know, Mr. Amit Mahadev with the queries of letting you know about the username and password and also in accessing, you know, these resources wherever you are. Uh, thank you so very much for sparing your time in being there and we truly remain appreciative of your interest in uh, joining us this afternoon and uh, ensuring that, you know, that you get a glimpse of what Delnet does and how we can really can play a, an important role into your world of academics and research. So with this, we are uh, towards the closure of the webinar session. We wish you the very best. We wish you the most blessed and uh, enriching times ahead and uh, do request you to give us a chance to be of any assistance to you. So thank you very much, one and all. God bless you all. And we really look forward to having many more opportunities to keep on interacting with you. Uh, that's for now. And we look forward to many more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amit, once again to you and entire wonderful team and everyone uh, and each one of you who have really made it as a truly a memorable uh, webinar session. Though we couldn't hear much from your side, but we really look forward to an occasion, you know, wherein we can do much more than what we have been able to gain today. Thank you very much. Stay happy, stay blessed, and do always remember to stay connected. It has been an honor and pleasure for Delhi to have organized this webinar session with the Pune Institute of Business Management. We remain truly appreciative and grateful for the immense support being extended by PIBM to Delhi. And my very special thanks once again uh, to the esteemed uh, distinguished director, Dr. Singh, uh, for his splendid support always. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amit. Thank you, each one of you. May God bless you. And we look forward to hearing more often from you. Thank you. Thank you, Amit. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>